Premier Scott Moe and others recently announced a massive expansion of irrigation for the province. More water will be diverted from the Lake Diefenbaker Reservoir. Officials say it would allow farmers to grow vegetables and other high-value crops and spark growth of a processing industry. Farm groups say it's a great idea, but others aren't so sure. The $4 billion price tag makes it the largest project in the province's history. There's fear that taxpayers will be left paying for any mistakes. Yeah, we're borrowing a ton of money. It's not like we've got a bunch of money sitting around or trying to find something to use it for. We're borrowing money just to keep the lights on right now. And then we're going to go over the top of that and uh, borrow billions more for a project like this. You really have to have a solid plan for that. You really have to have a plan to manage the risk on this. Plans don't always work out like you hope. Projections don't always turn out to be reality. Indigenous leaders are also concerned. They say they were left in the dark about this announcement. They say the Supreme Court has been clear that First Nations must be consulted before a project begins. They say they're still willing to talk, but their support is not automatic. It's not gonna be consultation unless they take our recommendations seriously. They can't just come in into a meeting and make the report and all is fine and dandy. It doesn't work that way. Work is set to begin immediately on the project. It's expected to take 10 years to complete. Jason Warwick, CBC News, Saskatoon.